I, well, I, I wouldn't call it smeared on the big screen necessarily, but I think they've done a terrific job of translating the character from one medium to the next. I'm very happy with it. Practicality. Really? Sure. Uh, frankly, it looks cooler. Right. And when you're working with practicals, I mean, in, in point of fact, in the comic, they come out the back of his hands, they come out sort of there. But that's a bitch, especially if you're going to have to hold some kind of harness that makes them work. Practicality, you adjust to the medium you're in. Yes, he'd be like a lady with long fingernails, it'd be pretty well, difficult there, to There is one of those, if you recall, in the second film, Lady Deathstrike, who's got fingernails that are razor sharp and indestructible. Exactly, so it makes it hard to do her hair and things well, like that. Well, it's like giving her a manicure. <laughs> well, I think whenever you capture the spirit of a character, I thought Iron Man was astonishingly good. And that's as much the casting as anything else. Once you hire Robert Downey Jr. to play Tony Stark, you're done. Almost anything else you do is gravy. Uh, I thought the last Hulk movie worked really well. Again, Edward Norton is a terrific Bruce Banner. Some of the others don't work quite as well. I didn't think Catwoman was a particularly good film. I don't think anybody uh, but when you capture the sense of a character, translating it from one medium to the next, any changes you make you know, are fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole line from the first X film, you know, what did you expect, yellow spandex? You know, black leather outfits work just fine by me. <laughs> Never lose your sense of enthusiasm. Uh, what about, um, say, the Watchmen boys? What did... Um, Dave Gibbons and Alan Moore teach you. Never lose your sense of dismay. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> you actually had to edit Watchmen. And I did. How? What? In what way could you actually corral those? Um, it was a challenge. Mm -hmm. It was certainly a challenge. Of uh, I, I have gone on print and, and online. I is saying I never liked the ending. I, I I thought that they went a little askew with it. Uh, I thought the ending in the film worked better. It solved some of the problem. But but Alan is Alan. You know, you take the good with the bad. You want that word craft, that the ability to, to sculpt a line like the way else's business. You put up with mismatched socks and an inability to spell. I mean, it works out splendidly. I just exploring the character more. I think the Japanese story, if that's where they go, and I imagine that is where they're planning to go, is the perfect next choice. It, gives you a whole different side of the character. And I think that allows you to explore aspects that haven't been explored on film so far. You know, the noble warrior, as opposed to the berserker 